You know, this is really strange. Like, this is Siam Square. This is normally the busiest place where all the Chula kids come and hang out. So it would be basically like Harvard Square in Boston. Uh, that big video screen would be playing lots of advertisements. There's uh, advertisements for phones, lots of beauty shops, shops of clothes, fashion, and places to hang out and eat. There's an A&W, actually. And so it's remarkably unscathed. Like, there's not any visible damage, but then all of a sudden we come over here and for some strange reason this one building got targeted. I don't know why. But, uh, it's obviously suffered some damage. Uh, if you look right up the street here, that's uh, Siam Paragon up there. You can see the top of it. It looks like it's okay. That's good news. Uh, that's the red camp over there. I'm actually walking parallel to it right now. So, uh, there's people around, but it looks like a lot of people are just coming in to pack up their shops, I think. Yeah, these people, they're just clearing everything out. So, actually I know some people who were doing that yesterday too. Uh, up in Nantbury, their, their home was full of stuff because they had, had it delivered up there instead of down here which makes sense, but it's uh, very odd. It's just one building out of, out of hundreds is damaged. I don't know what was in here, but nobody's packing up. So I think they're gonna take their stuff back to their homes and wait it out, but this is good news actually to see that uh, most of Siam Square is fine and has suffered little, little damage. Uh, that's good news because these are all small shop owners. They've been really hit hard by the red protest up the street. Not many people have been coming down here so they've lost a lot of revenue. Especially in the last couple of weeks it's been really difficult for them. Uh, I don't know if they're still paying rents on these places but uh, you know, if they are, they're really, they're losing hundreds of thousands of bots every month, plus their salaries. It's got to be a real financial hit. But fortunately, it looks like most of the shops are in decent shape, so that means that they haven't lost their shops, which is good news. Uh, so that's, that's really good to hear.